What's going on there, folks? Uh, it is Earthmaster here on this Saturday evening, June 19th, 2021 is a date, about 9.30 p.m. West Coast time here in California. Latest quake, a 4.5, striking out here towards the, uh, well, just south, it looks like just, just south of the Philippines area. Pretty active, a little bit of swarming going on right there, as you can see on the uh, Earthquake 3D globe. We'll go ahead and check out this activity first over here. Um, and uh, let's see where they went to. 4.5 right there. Of course, it's been about over an hour or so. Just south of the Philippines, uh, some pretty deep earthquake movement in this region over the last 24 hours, including a pretty deep earthquake there, 4.6. Uh, just north of the 4.5 that we've seen here um, just a little bit ago. Also some further deep movement down south here. So quite a bit of deep movement in the uh, Philippines and the Indonesia area. Kind of watching that uh, pretty closely. Of course, uh, Fiji, pretty close to the uh, some of the deepest earthquake activity ever taken place here on Earth. Uh, another one, 520 kilometers below surface for that 5.1. And also a little bit more shallower quake there, 5.8, borderline six pointer uh, to the west of Fiji just due west here um, overall though looking at the map here it looks pretty quiet throughout the North American uh, northwestern part of the Pacific Ring of Fire we did see some heightened earthquake activity up here um, near the Fairbanks area Fairbanks sits up here oh, about 100 miles or so from this earthquake activity but was felt um, quite broadly throughout the region here 4.4 near Fury, Alaska, and uh, up here a little bit of movement near uh, Denali National Park, 3.0, pretty deep earthquake there at 123 kilometers below the surface. Uh, west Coast, let's go ahead and check that out, but we're going to add all the magnitudes here. Looks as though things may be calming down a little bit along the Cascadia Megathrust Fold, 2.1 near uh, Petrolia. 16 kilometers below the surface. Still seeing some movement along the creeping section there. Just a couple uh, microquakes there on the region of that fault. And swarming activity kind of dying down, folks. Looking just scattered. Uh, about 15 earthquakes or so near the Salton Sea. But don't let your guard down. Things can ramp up pretty quickly in that area. Uh, seismic activity throughout Nevada, kind of on the increase there on the eastern crest of the Sierras. Uh, east of Long Valley Super Volcano. Um, just a couple of small quakes throughout the region there. And also Cascade Volcanoes not th showing really any movement uh, here on this map of the USGS. Pretty deep earthquake into parts of the uh, uh, let's go ahead and check this out here. The uh, Mexico area. Just northwest Guatemala area. 5.4 striking earlier today at 217 kilometers down in the Middle America Trench region, way down. Um, still kind of watching this area. We've seen kind of a heightened earthquake activity over the last couple days or so. You can see this here on this map, this little line of earthquake activity just kind of um, making its way up northward. This area, no stranger and, and uh, no joke when it comes to some significant earthquake activity. So just be on guard uh, in that area if you live there. Puerto Rico, I had a couple folks asking me about this, uh, about the possibility of a mega quake along the Puerto Rico Trench. I did a video on this a year or so ago. Um, just a little explanation here. Um, and a little bit of historical activity. Uh, this here is a uh, Barbara... Kua, I think I pronounced that right. Barakua um, earthquake uh, struck the island of Puerto Rico on May 2nd. The magnitude of the earthquake was believed to have been around 8.0 to 8.5. Uh, but this is a long time ago, folks. Um, however, there is evidence that it was only a 6.9. The epicenter is thought to have been somewhere north of Puerto Rico, probably on the Puerto Rico Trench. So, you know, there's, there's a lot, there's some historical. Uh, evidence of uh, a very large quake striking out there and producing a tsunami. Um, the East Coast is not ex exempt from tsunamis. We could 
We could talk about all sorts of large earthquakes that struck over here near uh, the uh, areas here to the east, Portugal area. Uh, that did create a tsunami over here on the east coast. Uh, and the potential, I guess, you know, for, for a mega quake here in this area is real. And a tsunami could be generated. How big that tsunami would be along the east coast, who knows, folks? Who really knows? But uh, the potential is there. Also, someone asked about the uh, Hill and Nest Lump along Hawaii, the dangers to the west coast. I did an update video on that uh, a couple years ago as well. I'm going to actually include that video at the end of uh, this video as far as a link goes for what's coming up next on the YouTube channel. So uh, look for that link here at the end of this video. That's kind of an interesting scenario, no doubt, for the uh, Southern California area. But for now, folks, all is good. Uh, summer solstice tomorrow. I'll be glad when it gets much, much darker earlier in the evening. I'm not a big fan of it being 100 and, uh, 111 at 9 o'clock at night. Oh, it's not really 111. I think it's like we've got 89. Kind of cooled down a little bit. Hit 109 today here where I live. Uh, but uh, man, I'll be so much happier when things start getting darker at night. Let me tell you. Earlier. Darker earlier is what I'm trying to say. Uh, what do we got here? 5.2 in the Indonesia area and also some movement up here towards the, uh, what do we got? Uh, Pakistan area, 4.5, 48 kilometers below surface for that quake. Um, overall, folks, just kind of gener generally quiet. Um, just, you know, with all the movement over there around the Guatemala area and into Mexico, southern parts of Mexico today, uh, just definitely be on guard in this region. Trimmer map, let's go ahead and check this activity real quick. Nothing. Zip, 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 zero. Zero epicenters being recorded. Volcanic seismicity. I'm not going to go through all those, folks. We'll go ahead and check out, uh, what was it, Mountain Hood we were looking at last night. You know, I couldn't access the USGS page for like almost an hour when I was doing last night's update video. Kind of kind of scary. Um, not for sure what was going on, but... Uh, Anyway, today, I don't see a whole lot of activity there at Mount Hood, folks. We can check out the uh, seismograph stations around the region there at Mount Hood. Let's see here. What do we got? And then we're still seeing that little signal, that little signature of some, some earthquake activity, but kind of either deep down there or far away from the station. Uh, and it goes throughout the day yesterday. Uh, so kind of watching that folks nothing major changing just kind of still seeing that little activity Yellowstone National Park the same as it has been for quite a while very very quiet uh, let's see what else we got here folks yeah there's a there's a whole wealth of information when it comes to the Puerto Rico trench area and the activity and the earthquake activity throughout the past and uh, and some some majorly detailed um, information on that i'm going to go ahead and copy that as well and paste it into the video description below so you guys can check that out if you want but also um i did a update video update video on this a year or so ago and uh kind of explain a little bit more detail on it so anyway folks i'm going to enjoy the evening kind of late here in california i can finally go outside without melting uh it's just been a crazy hot day Good day to stay inside underneath the air conditioner let me tell you have a good night folks we'll chat you a little bit later please stay safe out there and have a safe weekend if you're out there enjoying this beautiful life peace out